Montana with four electoral votes is blue. Oh! <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Bags and President Ross. According to... EmersonCollegePolling.com We have a new updated election vi map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more election videos. Emphasis on that subscribe and share because we definitely need you all to do that to get the word out. If you want Donald Trump to win, get the word out by sharing this if you don't like the results. If you want Kamala Harris to win, get this video out there if you don't like the results. You can influence people and you can change history with your vote. Let's get started on the election map based on EmersonCollegePolling.com, a highly reputable news source for elections. All right, Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald Trump. Sorry, I got her to laugh. Add this to the bloopers. <laughs> I said my state is blue. I got too into it. I was thinking of Blue Hawaii by Elvis <laughs> Presley. I got my blue Hawaii. <laughs> okay, keep recording, keep recording. What did this out? <laughs> Put it in the blooper reel. That's a good one. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now Nevada, according to Emerson College polling, is 48% for Kamala Harris and 48% for Donald J. Trump. It will not be colored in. It is grayer than a jaybird. Arizona, according to Emerson College polling, has... Actually, Arizona's not even on this list for some reason, so we'll leave that gray as well. So it's a toss-up. Either candidate could or could not win it. The six Nevada votes and the 11 Arizona votes are up in the air currently. That is weird that Arizona's not on this list. Oh, it is. Oh! <laughs> That's how it is on the list. Okay. <laughs> okay, blooper reel. Woo! Okay, sorry, Arizona is, wow. The ad was in the way on my screen, <laughs> on my phone screen, okay. Mm. <laughs> Arizona, uh, Maricopa County. <laughs> Arizona with 11 electoral votes, according to Emerson College polling, Trump is at 49%, while Kamala Harris is at 48%. Therefore, Arizona and its 11 electoral votes go to Donnie Trump. Woo! All right, awesome. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with 5 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska at large is red for Donald J. Trump. The 1st District of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the 2nd District of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is blue for Tampon, Timothy, and Kamala Harris. Iowa with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin, according to Emerson College polling, has Trump at 49% and Kamala Harris at 48%. Therefore, Wisconsin and its 10 electoral votes goes to Donnie Trump. Woohoo! Yeah! Come on! Let's halfway there. Michigan with its 15 electoral votes. According to Emerson College polling, Harris is at 49% and Trump is at 47%, giving Kamala Harris the 15 electoral votes of Michigan, turning it blue. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Woohoo! Keep it up. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. 
Ohio with 17 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. West Virginia with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with 8 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with 6 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia, according to Emerson College polling, Georgia, Trump is at 50%. Kamala Harris is at 47%. Nabbing, 16 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to Emerson College polling, North Carolina has Harris at 49% and Trump at 48%. Nabbing those sweet 16 Votes blue for Kamala Harris. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, according to Emerson College polling, and it's 19 electoral votes. Pennsylvania has Trump at 48% and Harris at 47%. Nabbing those sweet 19 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump, it is red. The rest of the states, except for Maine, the top right on Maine, is red for Donald J. Trump. And the District of Maine and the 2nd District uh, of Maine at large, the 2 and 3, are blue for Kamala Harris. And the rest of them, New Hampshire, New York, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, and the rest of them are all <laughs> blue for Kamala Harris. Woohoo! Yeah! That gives Donald J. Trump, the Republican Party, 270 electoral votes, and Kamala Harris, the Democrats, 257. But if Kamala Harris won Nevada, turn it blue, if she won Nevada, that would give her 263, still not enough to win. But if Trump flipped Nevada to red, that would make Donald J. Trump have 279 electoral votes, nabbing him both times the seat of the President of the United States of America. So we're going to turn that back to Gray Toss-Up. That is the only toss-up on this list of Emerson College polling as of today. That means that Donald J. Trump, according to Emerson College polling, would win the election if it were held today and these stats were within a margin of error of 0.01%. Bam! All right, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out with another banger! It's in North Carolina. Edit that Virginia out. Okay.